Hi there. This is a story of our beautiful border collie Jessie. She came to us in 2009 from a lady who didn't know what to do with her. She um, inherited her from the neighbors who had locked her up for nine months in the backyard, never been walked. So she was a bit of a wild one. Um, she could be a bit destructive too. She uh, she uh, attacked a few plant pots on a regular basis, but that came a lot better when she came to our place. Um, because she was so wild, she also was injured quite a lot. She um, she was walking around with a cone on her, on her head for a lot of times. Once she ended up with a seven centimeter piece of timber in her uh, Achilles. Um, the, the vet we had at the moment couldn't find it after two operations, so we obviously didn't go back to that vet anymore. Eventually, a specialist in the Gold Coast, a very expensive specialist, uh, found uh, the, the piece of timber and actually removed it. So that was a good thing. She was happy again. As mentioned, she was a wild bone. Nothing was too crazy for her. Chasing the high stones is, was a lovely uh, game. Um, she loved the water. She basically, you couldn't get her out of the water. In the beginning we thought, well, she doesn't know how to get out of the pool or out of the water, but she just didn't want to go out. And she just loved swimming. Uh, if there was any water there, she will be in it. She's really mental when she's in the pool. She's been swimming around for half an hour. She doesn't want to get out. But then one day, a big change was going to happen in her life. A little kitten arrived at our place and she had no idea how to deal with it. She was so scared of it and she didn't came in the house for three days. However, after those three days, she was able to overcome her fear and she met a little Jack and they became the best friends. Amazing, a dog and a cat being good friends, but they were. They were rumbling and it didn't matter what Jack the cat did to her, she was happy with it. They had a great time. Another big change was going to happen uh, in her life. Uh, she, as she ha hasn't been socialized very well in the beginning of her life, she was not very fond of other dogs. So we had to look after a little terrier cross dog called Mate, Matey. And uh, we didn't know how that was going to end up uh, with her. But as with the cat, they became the best mates and they had a lovely time. It was only temporary we had Matey, but she had a ball with Matey. Life was good at the farm <clears throat> and she kept entertaining us. Every time she came up with something she's never done before and made us laugh. Uh, it was good to have her around. She was a funny dog, a very funny dog. Because the style of her life wasn't the best, being locked up in the backyard. She sometimes was a little bit of a loner. She was a bit on herself, um, but that didn't mean she didn't like attention. So uh, on a regular basis, she just came to you and she loved the attention and having a nice cuddle. Slowly, Jessie went older. A day at the beach, she still enjoyed. However, she usually stayed around us. There was not a lot of running anymore. The accident still happened, although not as much as in the beginning, but she still had an accident once in a while. And like I said, slowly she was getting older and older. Other doggies, we lost other doggies in the meantime, she was still there. And slowly, slowly she was getting older.
in her early days she just have to say the word swimming and she was already in the pool before you even was in there these days she didn't want to go into the pool anymore so on very hot days we actually took her in and just slowly let her cool down in the water and she enjoyed that but she you need to help her out of the pool it was all getting a little bit too hard she was sleeping a lot during the day she was mainly sleeping um, she still liked her food though she loved her food until the last day she couldn't wait to get her dinner so that was a good sign She slowly started to deteriorate. She was already deaf for quite a while, uh, which was good, so she, she couldn't hear the thunder anymore, which she was so scared of the last couple of years. Um, her big legs, uh, generally her legs, are starting to give up. Her big legs couldn't hold her for much more than a minute. You could see when she's sitting down, she was in pain. So she was kind of finished and she was more than 15 years old she had a good life so we had to make the dreadful decision and we put her down uh, a week ago we're never going to forget her